In need of a digital camera? Our team is eager to help in any way possible. Affordable point and shoots sit alongside state-of-the-art gear for serious photographers. It's not easy to find your way around this varied world if you don't spend all your free time on photography forums and reading blogs. Excuse me, we are pleased to have you visit our ultimate unboxing, where you will learn about the latest and greatest in amazing affordable tech. For that reason, we ask that you stick around until the very end of the video. Before we continue though, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future great videos. In that case, let's jump right in. Whether you're an amateur trying to decide between an SLR and a mirrorless camera system, or a family photographer looking for something more than a basic Android phone, we're here to help. The benefits of a high-quality camera are noticeable to both amateur and professional photographers. If you're serious about improving your photography, upgrading to a new camera with better features like higher resolutions and more flexible settings is a great investment that will pay off in the form of polished high-quality stills and moving footage. We have compiled a list of the top cameras available for less than $2,000 to help you narrow down your search. You'll have all the tools you need to take professional quality photographs with these cameras from industry leaders like Sony, Nikon, and Canon. Our final decisions were based on a number of criteria, including the camera's image quality, shooting speed, portability, and Wi-Fi capabilities. Before settling on a camera, it's important to give some thought to the lenses available, as some models come with a more versatile assortment of lenses than others. For any budget, I can assure you that you will find a camera that suits your needs among the millions of options currently on the market. Unfortunately, we can only cover the top cameras that cost less than $2,000 today. This video is for those who have already decided on the type of camera they want to buy. What to look for in a camera that costs less than $2,000? It is the image sensor alone that determines the final image quality. The price of a good camera with a sensor size of 18 to 24 megapixels should be less than $2,000. While you may mock the subpar quality of some smartphone cameras, you can't deny that they facilitate instantaneous photo sharing. Thankfully, you can avoid compromising quality for portability by using a standalone camera. Now more than ever, you can find a camera that has built-in wireless connectivity of some kind, whether it be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or NFC, making it easy to back up your photos and share them on social media while you're on the go. Issues with lens compatibility. If you buy a DSLR with interchangeable lenses, you're stuck using only equipment from that particular brand. It might be more cost-effective to purchase additional lenses from the same manufacturer if you already have a few of their products. A Nikon D500 Digital Cellar Camera In this video, we'll first explore a fascinating proposition. There's a lot to like about the Nikon D500, and one of the best features is its continuous shooting rate of 10 FPS. Photographing wildlife, sports, and concerts is a breeze with this camera. With the D500, you can capture 4K video at 30 frames per second. In addition, at only 1.9 pounds, it makes for a convenient traveling companion. It offers a wide variety of settings for photographers thanks to its 20.9 megapixel CMOS sensor, XP5 image processor, and native ISO range of up to 51,200. The legendary Nikkor lenses from Nikon can be used with it. The 3.2-inch LCD touchscreen on this camera can be tilted, making it easy to review shots after they've been taken. This is a great design, but USB charging would be nice. The D500 is weather-sealed and has a high-quality design, so it is durable and convenient to use in any climate. Also, it has two SD card slots and can take about 1,240 photos before needing a recharge, so you'll have plenty of time to get all the shots you want. The D500 is an adaptable camera that can be used for almost any type of photography, producing vivid, high-quality images that will please photographers of all skill levels. EOS Rebel T6 from Canon The Canon EOS Rebel T6 is a great choice for an inexpensive DSLR if you're ready to make the jump from a point-and-shoot. It may not have all the bells and whistles of a more expensive camera, but it will get the job done and produce satisfactory results. The T6 is compatible with Canon EF and EFS lenses and features an 18-megapixel CMOS Digic 4 Plus image sensor, an ISO range of up to 12,800, built-in Wi-Fi, and NFC. The 9-point autofocus makes it easy to keep up with moving subjects in your shots. 
The T6 makes it easy to take professional-looking photos, even if you're still getting the hang of using manual controls. The LCD screen on the back of the camera isn't touch-sensitive, but it does work well for viewing image previews. But you can use it with Wi-Fi or near-field communication NFC, to transfer pictures to your phone immediately. About 500 shots can be fired before the battery needs to be recharged. In general, it's a great choice if you're in the market for a DSLR camera. This is the second generation of the Pentax K1. The Pentax K1 is a fantastic choice if you need a weatherproof and high-quality full-frame camera. Shooting in bad weather, while necessary sometimes for getting the perfect shot, can be hazardous to your camera. In contrast, the K1 is protected from the elements, including rain, snow, and heat. Features like a 36.4 megapixel CMOS sensor with 33 autofocus points, shake reduction, full HD video recording, and a GPS system for pinpointing your exact location are also included. Unlike other similar products, these can be adjusted individually via a dial that selects various functions. With the built-in Wi-Fi, you can transfer images wirelessly to your mobile device. Even though the K1 is capable of taking stunningly clear photos, users should be aware that the camera is incompatible with a wide variety of lenses. The camera's image stabilization is also noteworthy as it uses 5-axis stabilization to help you get the shot, even if you're racing against the clock. The battery lasts for about 760 shots on a single charge, and the LCD screen, which measures 3.2 inches, can be tilted. The Pentax K70 The Pentax K70 is a reasonably priced camera that offers a fully weather-sealed body, making it ideal for photographers who frequently work in harsh environments. It can operate in temperatures as low as 14 degrees Fahrenheit, and is resistant to dust, snow, water, and sand, allowing you to shoot with confidence no matter the weather. The K70 has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor with an ISO range of up to 204,800, as well as in-body image stabilization with innovative anti-shake technology. Despite being made entirely of plastic, the camera's sturdy build and variable angle 3-inch LCD screen give it a premium feel in the hand. Using 6 FPS continuous shooting, photographers can catch every exciting moment as it unfolds, but they should be wary of the battery life, which is shorter than that of some of the other cameras we looked at. A Canon EOS 80D If you're looking for a slightly more affordable camera, the Canon EOS 80D is a great option and a solid upgrade from your entry-level camera. With its 45-point autofocus system, built-in Wi-Fi and NFC, and 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, this camera delivers excellent value for the money. It can't record in 4K, but it can in 1080p. We also like the flexible viewfinder, which features a 3-inch touchscreen that can be tilted to a variety of angles and used to tap on a specific focus point. A top-mounted, smaller LCD displays vital information. The ADD's autofocus and 7 FPS continuous shooting rate make it well-suited for action photography, wildlife photography, and sports photography. The camera has an impressive battery life of about 960 shots and weighs 3.48 ounces. The ADD's compatibility with Canon's EF and EFS lens mounts, which gives users a wide range of options, makes it hard to find a better DSLR in this price range. That's all I have for you guys today. We hope the video was entertaining. If this resonates with you, please spread the word by clicking the like button and forwarding this article. Leave your thoughts, questions, and feedback in the section provided below. In addition, please subscribe to our channel so that you can watch all of our amazing videos. Other videos on our site have also been handpicked with you in mind, so feel free to browse around. In the subsequent video, we'll review the previous ones.